Hi there. In this video, I'm going to share the process that I use to share the clips that I shoot with a 360 fly camera with other users. Now, there's already processes in place to be able to put them up on YouTube or up onto 360 Fly's website, and people can see the clips on the website through a browser. Problem is, is you can't view those in a Google Cardboard device. So, what I'm going to do is show you the process that I'm using to shoot a clip and then share it with somebody such that they can play it using their Google Cardboard device. Let's get started. So let's assume you've already shot some stuff and it's sitting in the storage on your 360 fly camera. So the first thing you want to do is plug it up to your computer and just plug it in using the USB port. Pop it on the stand there and it should be recognized by the computer. There it is, 360 fly. And uh, when you click on it, you should see all of your clips there. You can change the view if you want to. And notice some of the clips say thumb and some of them say record. The one that you want is the one that says record. So let's take that one, let's say, and we drag it to the desktop and let it go. Now these files can be pretty big, certainly too big to email. So what you want to use is some sort of file sharing service. I'm using drive.google.com. So this is Google's Drive service. It's free. I've called my folder Shared VR Videos. I just go over here and say New, Folder, and I can create a folder and call it, call it whatever I want to call it. Uh, then I grab my video off the desktop and I drag it and drop it into the folder. Once your file finishes uploading, you'll see it in the folder here, and you can right-click on it and share it with whomever you want. You just right-click, go down to Share, and then punch in somebody's email address, and off you go. Now, once you've sent your file, that's pretty much it as far as the sender is concerned. Now, the recipient, they get an email from you, they click on the link, they download the file, it shows up on their desktop, and then they fire up iTunes. And in this case, they fired up iTunes and also plugged in their uh, phone. So we'll plug in the phone here. It'll show up under Devices. And just pull it down like that. There's my phone. And I click on the phone. And what comes up is uh, information on the phone. You want to click on Apps. And then from here, you want to scroll all the way down. Not in the window here, but in the actual main window. Scroll all the way down, and you'll see Applications down there. You'll want to select 360 Fly. Might be at the top of the list because it begins with a 3. And then over on the right, you'll see your files. Here's all your movie files. You grab the one off the desktop. In this case, I'm going to rename it just so it shows up as a different name here. Uh, but you can grab your file off the desktop, drag it right in there, and that gets it ready to go onto your phone. And one thing not to forget is, see there it shows up, Test 002. Now you want to hit Sync, and that will load it onto your phone. So once you have the clip loaded onto your phone, you've got to launch the 360 Fly application. You'll come into the home screen here. Then you want to click on iPhone or on smartphone, whatever they call it, and you'll see your clip right at the top there. So click your clip to play it, and you'll see it shows up in the regular view. And that little Google Cardboard icon is what you want. Hit that Google Cardboard icon. Now it starts playing in Google Cardboard format, finally. So let's review. We're going to save the clips to the smartphone, extract the clips using iTunes, and then share those clips using Google or Dropbox. Now the recipient is going to download your clip, import that clip using iTunes, sync it up, then use the 360 Fly app to open the clips, and then finally play it in their Google Cardboard device. So that's my technique for sharing 360 Fly camera clips with other people so that they can play them using a Google Cardboard device. It may seem unnecessarily complicated. Maybe it is. Maybe you know a better way of doing it. Definitely share your process in the comments below, and thank you for watching.